what up? New York here. So as you guys know, I've been sick lately. While I was sick, I decided to check out some of the people that you guys have been asking me to look at. I mean, I should have looked at this guy before, but the truth of the matter is, you know, I'm not really entertained by watching a mentally challenged drug addict with a hanger sticking out of his back from his partial birth abortion, who also happens to be the product of incest and a drug addict. It's just not really entertaining for me. It's, if anything, it's disgusting. I'm talking about Eric Costco, you know, what do they call him, Cuzzo? I don't know if you noticed, but he got the nickname from his two cousins fucking each other, and out came him, Cuzzo. You know, the product of incest and the reason why incest is illegal. Apparently, I don't know if you guys knew this, but one of his cousins happens to be Uncle Fester and the other woman happens to be this woman right here. Yeah, they're cousins, they're all cousins with Cuzzo. They banged and they had him. Unfortunately, he survived the abortion. Basically, after watching the hours of this guy, I learned many things about myself and many things about him and the world in general. The world in general is a dark place because apparently there's 10,000 people. Well, 5,000 of those probably just watch him like I did because he's, you know, retarded and you just want to kind of laugh and see a dumpster fire. But at least 5,000 other people out of his 10,000 subscribers actually like this guy for entertainment. I mean, all he does is talk about two things. Let's go through them both. The first thing he talks about is how he killed his best friend. He acts like he's the killer gorilla, you know? Nobody's been realer than this guy. He's a murderer, he's a stone cold hardened killer. Truth of the matter is, he killed one of his best friends. There was a drug that his best friend was strangling the shit out of him, the same thing that the doctor that gave birth to him, along with his mother should have did the day he was born but didn't. So his friend was strangling the shit out of him, they were trying to get a gun from him. Cuzzo got scared like a little fucking baby, pissed on his leg a little bit, some tears dropped out of his eye, and he squeezed the trigger, saying, I wish you didn't have to make me do this, I'm so sorry, because he's a whole bitch. But anyway, after Cuzzo made the bad man go away, he got in trouble for it, it was on the news, and he thinks that this raised his street credibility. Because everybody knows the toughest guy in the world is the one that shoots their own friend because they're scared to death of what their friend's gonna do to them, and they're about three seconds away from drowning without water. Anyway, if he's not bragging about, you know, unaliving his best friend because he was scared to death, then he's talking about how tough he is with women and his ex-girlfriend and how abusive he was and basically he even has you know video after video i'll show you in a minute of him just talking shit now if you don't believe me let me show you this and remember this guy loved this girl at one point you guys don't know anything unless i let you know if i put it out there then you know but you guys don't know shit and then act like you do so jen would be in prison right now for an attempted murder charge. If it wasn't for me. I had to make up some bullshit ass story. When the reality is. She got caught. Sucking dick for coke. Once again. And I left her. I literally walked. Well tried to walk away. No Jen. I actually feel bad for her. It sounds like a girl who would think this guy probably has self esteem problems. But. If what he's saying is true, if she left him to go suck dick for coke, I only have one thing to say. Good thing for you, Jen. What an upgrade. Because instead of sucking his dick for pity, at least you're getting something out of it. Then the dude's bragging that, oh yeah, she, she did this for coke and then I just walked away. I just walked away. Bro, that's because you don't have a car and the bus probably wasn't coming for another half an hour. Let's be honest, you know? Another thing I'd love to give Jen some credit about, but I'm not fully happy with the outcome, is she may or, or she may have not ran him over with a car and then backed up again. In my opinion, that's horrible. That's not something you do to a guy. If it's a guy like Cuzzo, you want to do it at least four times. You want to back up, go forward, back up, go forward, back up, go forward. Because the last thing you want to do is take one more breath of oxygen away from somebody who deserves it in this world. I mean, when you were with him, the most you would get is a black eye and syphilis. And now you get a little cocaine. Now, I never really understood people as far as the, what they want to do, what they're willing to do to their own cause. 
I mean, this girl damaged her own car. You remember when you were kids and you used to drive around and you crash into a garbage can filled with shit? Well, basically, that's what she did when she ran him over. You know, he's still here and her car has a dent. That car's dent is worth more than this guy's entire life and everything he's ever done. Now, let's talk about him. Let's talk about the most obvious of things what this guy has. First off, his face tattoos. It literally looks like a kid took a crayon and drew all over his face and then drew a crayon on the side of his face and threw it away. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, New York, it's a bullet. It can't be a crayon. It's a bullet. It's this. It's that. It can't be a crayon. Maybe it's a lipstick. Who knows? It's a crayon. Look at it. He has a crayon on his face. I'm going to call this guy the Crayola Kid because that's what he is. Now let's talk about the tattoos he has. He has the anarchy symbol and death wish. Badass. If you were in prison, you'd be scared of that guy. He's a killer. Anarchy. Yeah, Satan. Woo. But then he has blessed and Romans 15, 25 on his chin. That doesn't make any sense to me. Doesn't make sense to you. Having blessed and Romans 15, 25 on your chin while you have anarchy and death wish on your head would be the equivalent of having an orgy to raise his money for the abstinence club, in my opinion. You don't get much stupider. But then again, a seven-year-old kid drew it on with a crayon, so what do you expect? But I do have to give this guy, you know, a little bit of credit for one thing he did. I mean, apparently one day he looked in the mirror and he was like, why the hell did I get such stupid tattoos? Why would I get the tattoo of a crayon on my cheek? Meanwhile, I have death wish on my forehead, blessed on my chin, and Romans 15, 25, which is a verse about Jesus getting gifts. I don't know why I did something so stupid, not to mention I put some X's under my eyeballs, you know, just to top it off. How could I get people to stop looking at me? What could I do to take their attention away from my stupid tattoos? And with that being said, it was his best idea ever. He knocked out half of his upper teeth on one side. Now when you look at him, you barely even see the tattoos. The only thing you see is, did that guy have half a set of dentures? Did that guy, what is he, you must chew a lot. You must have a big muscle on your left side. I have teeth issues too, but come on, man. I wouldn't be on YouTube pulling a tooth in and out and acting like that's cool. Hey, look, I can use this as currency. Know who would say something like that? A crackhead. And if you don't think he said it, here it is. So, you know, I do a lot of reading when I'm in jail. And uh, I was reading this book about how teeth used to be currency, used to be money. And not on no tooth fairy shit, like, it, it used to be, like, straight money, like, like, gold pieces. What do you think I could get for this? Like, this is a big ass tooth. I, I didn't realize how big my shit was. Like, I, I had some buck ass teeth. You can't tell, right? You can't tell. <laughs> now that I just had to watch that video again, something dawned on me. It's actually the second time this guy's ever told the truth. He was in jail. He read that you can get probably $4 a piece from the Tooth Fairy. I don't know who he's talking about back in the day that they used teeth as currency. I don't know. Maybe Krakens always did, but that's something only the Krakens know about. We don't know about. It's probably one of those secret little things that if you're a real, real true, like level 17 Krakhead, you know where to go to take your tooth out and trade it for rocks. And he got out of prison and was like, Fuck it, I need me some rocks. And he started one at a time just knocking his teeth out and trading them for the local crack dealer. Right now, there's a fucking crackhead plug in the hood walking around with all his front teeth in. You can see him now talking to his buddies. Oh, you got that platinum grill? Check out my Cuzzo grill. Smiling it up, showing off fucking Cuzzo's teeth that were traded for fucking a nickel sack and a fucking rock. And is it me, or does this guy kind of sound like a really, really cracked out heroin addict loser voice of Keanu Reeves? 
He's like the reverse world, Keanu Reeves. You know, if Keanu Reeves never became an actor, if Keanu Reeves just smoked meth, if Keanu Reeves, you know, was mainlining crocodile, whatever that drug is, if Keanu Reeves was sucking down bottles of NyQuil, if Keanu Reeves was the product of incest, this might have been him. Yeah! You are going to have the most excellent adventure through history. No way. No way. Yes way, Ted! I'm gonna cut this one short and just end it now because there's nothing I can really say about him that hasn't been said before. I do just have one more little thing to say. Hopefully this guy never kills anybody again. And at least if he does, if he doesn't want to get caught, he better not do it in front of anybody. Because I cannot imagine how funny it would be if a witness seen it and they bring the witness to the police station and they go, listen, we want to do a police sketch so we can catch him. Can you describe him? And this poor son of a bitch got to sit there and go, it looks like a six-year-old drew an anarchy symbol on his head with a pen, then wrote Death Wish with a magic marker. Then he has Romans and Blessed written on his chin like somebody did it with a fucking pen again. And then he has a fucking crayon on the side of his face. Is it the same side that's missing half the teeth up top? Well, I'm not sure if it's half the teeth. I think it might be the fact that he has just such big teeth that if this makes sense, when he smiles, it looks like the whole top half is missing on the one side, but it's actually just the one front tooth. You imagine what this cartoon would look like that this police guy drew? They would never, ever believe this is a real person. This is, I don't even understand, if you wanted to draw a cartoon version of the most cracked out crackhead that ever been doing the crack, it still wouldn't look as bad as this guy. But for now, I'm gonna let it go. Listen, Jen, if you're out there, I'm truly sorry. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm glad you got out of an abusive relationship. That's real talk. I wish you never dated this guy. I don't know what you were thinking. I'm guessing drugs might have been involved, but I really am glad you got away from him. I seen the videos with him talking about, oh, what she did to me, what she did to me. You're a girl. If I were you, I would have waited for him to be sleeping and just whoosh, chopped it off and walked out whistling Dixie. But I'm glad you got away from him. For now, this is New York. Peace. Until next time. Take it easy. Have a great day. Peace. We'll